Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. In today's video, I'm going to talk about seven points for long-lasting relationship. Last time, I talked about cheating. How you can find out how your partners just signs to show you that they are cheating on you. But today, I'm going to show you how it can be last. So let's take two. No matter how long you have been together, there are always simple, fundamental rules of the road. Putting them into practice isn't that easy. But it is critical. Make your relationship stronger and, a good, and the good stuff. Fun, sex, trust, affection will be better than ever. Do you really believe that or you're in doubt let's talk about it good morning good afternoon good evening to wherever you are you're highly welcome my name is Lillian's mindset please if today is your first time please I beg you to subscribe if you have subscribed Thank you. God bless you. Please, before you leave, you click on the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Before I continue, I left a video a few days ago talking about how you can find out when your partner is cheating on you. But in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can also make it stronger and lasting. I always said, so far as it does not bring violence, anything violent in relationship, in marriage, to me is out of control, in fact, is out of bound. Husband and wife can fight, husband and wife can quarrel, couples can have misunderstanding, does not mean is the end of the road yes they are not from the same parents they are not from the same background they just met each other and they are now starting to know each other not that time they are dating far away no when the relationship or the marriage starts is when both of them are together in the morning you wake up and see your partner in the same evening you wake up and see the person when you are bored, you will see the face. When you are happy, you will see the face. That is when the relationship starts. That is when you will count. If it can be last or destroy or, you know, anything you can count off. Because you, you will see it all. Both good, both bad, both anything. So don't judge relationship because you are far away. Your partner, like for example, is in Nigeria and you are here in Europe. In the morning, you pick up your phone. Hello, how is your night? It's so, so, so sweet and nice. If relationship or marriage is so easy like that, many people won't come together or won't even have any children. They will prefer distance call. By the way, when you are calling, do you even know where they are? Do you ask this question? 
that person that is answering answering your call do you see their positions no sometimes you see sometimes you don't see so let's go we are going to talk about seven tips that can make your relationship last yes seven tips that can make your relationship last it can make it last be vocal about things you like boredom frustration and everyday irritation can those the spark between you and your partner and more of the same certainly won't feed the flame making the good stuff your top priority will first consider that it takes up to 20 positive statements to outweigh the harm done by one negative one so compliment your partner on how new shoes your your partner on his new blue t-shirt thank him or thank her for helping around the house dial her office for a quick thinking of you check in be sure this compliment and thank you are heartfelt and specific and make eye contact when you smile once you take this approach you will realize that in addition to knowing how to push your partner's hot buttons you know how to push his or her joy buttons too and we don't just mean sex after all that's how this wild thing started it won't be long before you appreciate that it is always the right time for your small acts of love like sharing a long kiss before you turn in each night number two touch each other human touch ends the realize of feel good endowments forgiver and receiver so hold hands when you are walking and brush her cheek when you are smooth good morning revive the ways you touch in the early days a kiss on the back of the ear and a hand through her head adding more of this kind of touch will help you build a fortress love that's important because a couple who form a tight unit can weather any symptom and are better able to starve off infidelity how do you build this bond first support your partner Take his or her aside whenever possible if trouble arises in the outside world. Keep their secret to yourself. Even when everyone at work spills theirs, except in a true emergency, don't let anything interrupt us time. That is what voicemail and bedroom door locks are for. Make a commitment to spend up to 30 minutes a day chatting with each other about everyday plans, goals, and yes, dreams. This is time to build a relationship. Study how that being friends pays off over time, ensuring a closer, sexier union, and don't forget to make time for intimacy, even if you must log it in your day planner. Three, stop blaming your partner for everything that is wrong. It is attempting to blame your partner when you feel angry, disappointed, bored, and betrayed, and stressed out about your relationship. The next step is seeing your mate as the one who must change for the relationship to improve. That's a cope out. Trying to improve your partner puts him or her on the defensive and casts you in a negative light. The result, nobody changes, nobody takes responsibility. Everyone is unhappy and making your partner the bad guy means ignoring the 90% of him or her that's good. The truth is, change yourself when you address your own flaws and seek the best in your company magic happens optimism increase 
Your partner feels better because he or she feels appreciated, not chastised, not chastised, and you both feel motivated to change in ways that lead to even more joy. You see it? This quote about forgiveness will inspire you to put down your grudges. Let's take four. Improve your relationship by relaxing. Yes. Sometimes it does not come in like a... <laughs> should I say spirit? Sometimes we need to relax. We need to relax. We need to, we, we need to reflect. Improve your relationship by relaxing. The classic advice I spot give to you, single seeking a perfect match, be the one to attract the one. Same goes in a long time relationship. The happier you feel, the happier your relationship will be. And the easier it will be to manage our conflict. If 15 minutes of morning yoga, a switch to the cave, and a new hobby help you relax, the good feelings can't help but lead to happier, richer moments together. Meanwhile, admit it, you, sh you used to focus over your head and obsess over the easiest item to wear to bed. Now, it's 10 sweets and ratty old t-shirts. Time to spurge up your look. Comb that man, brush those teeth and throw on a new rope. Feeling good about the way you look makes your eyes pankled. You are more likely to make eye contact. That sends a sparkle to your partner. You know what to do next. Here's how a woman learned to keep feeling sexy after 60. Number five. Fight fair. Conflict is a normal, even unhealthy. No, I made a mistake. Conflict is a normal and even healthy part of any relationship. What's important is how you handle it. And a Florida study of long time. Conflict is a normal, if even healthy part of any relationship. What's important is how you handle it. And also study your partner, long time couples. Joint problem solving ability was cited as a key factor for 70% of satisfied pairs with the chance to be seen and loved for who you truly are, to accept your mates are adorable and vulnerable real self, and to build a strong union without silently seeing. First, stay clear of criticisms, confrontation, hostility that are like gas on the fire. Who followed 92? for more than a decade found that early divorce fought long and loud and we are always on the attack and the defensive happy couples on the other hand avoid verbalizing critical thoughts keep discussion from escalating and don't use absolutes like never and always if a fight does start try to change the subject in that gentle human in Emphasize or show your partner extra appreciation too late. Call a trust, walk away and cool off for a while. Brush up on the seven stages of a marriage. Six, pick the right time to argue. Don't start potentially tough talks if you are not well rested and well fed. Hunger and fatigue can unleash nasty remarks and dark thoughts. Bamboos for the same reason. Save it for when you have achieved detents. That's what a toast. Don't ever try to deal with serious marital issue if you have got one eye or something else. Turn off the TV, the phone, the laptop if you are distracted or going out the door. Pick another time to talk. You can't resolve conflict on the fly and make sure you never do this after a fight. Last, learn to listen. Give your partner a listening ear. 
it might be a very big conflict or a very big problem but when you call off give them a listening ear know their own part of the story then you can now add yours you are angry you are hundred percent right you are not feeling it that particular time yeah you are hundred percent right but always learn to listen the single most powerful step you can you can take to keep relationships solid speak less and listen more blame insults criticism and bullying prevent a bad end at least a living hell when talk turns combative don't interrupt often a solution or defend yourself too soon when feelings are at issue they need to be heard so not rehearse or provide a soft you home to show your honor the emotions behind the words sometimes all we really need to do to feel closer to someone is pay closer attention to what it is that they are saying find out how to be a better lover in six easy steps did you learn anything today did I say something that improves you today? God will give you the strength to stay strong and healthy. But please, if the relationship has passed that, you know, has passed the extent of beating, count me out. Men should not beat their, their wives or their girlfriends. Because you men are stronger than us. We always have mouth. We don't have the bone. Please don't beat her in anything. Don't beat her. Keep a strong relationship. Give the rest to God. Do your own part and leave the rest to God. Make sure that everything comes out from your heart. Make sure you don't blame when you don't see. Make sure you hold a strong evidence before you finalize everything. Make sure you give another second chance if it's possible. Today I'll end this here and I pray that God will touch you all. Stay tuned, my friends. I love you all. Make sure you subscribe. God will bless you for those who have subscribed. And I thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye. My love now original, no thank you.